What is up, New Beginnings Church? Happy Tuesday morning to you, and welcome to this devotional series we're doing through the Gospel of Luke. We're in Luke chapter 2 today, and Luke chapter 2 tells a story about Mary and Joseph going to the temple to dedicate baby Jesus, but while they're there, they run into two very particular people that the author wants to highlight, so let's highlight them. Verse 22 says that when the time came for the purification rites required by the law of Moses— Joseph and Mary took baby Jesus to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Verse 25, now there was a man in Jerusalem called Simeon who was righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel and the Holy Spirit was on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. There was also, second person, there was also a prophet named Anna, who was the daughter of Peniel, the tribe of Asher. She was, she was very old. <laughs> she had lived with her husband seven years after her marriage and then was a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshiped night and day, fasting and praying. And coming up to them at that very moment, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were forward or looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. I love this because I see two people here that are positioned for blessing. They have set their lives up to where like, as soon as God speaks, I'm ready to listen. As soon as God says go, I'm ready to go. As soon as God wants to do anything in my life, I'm willing and available. And so a few things. Number one is this. They were both positioned at the temple. I want you to think about that. They were in Jerusalem at the temple. You know, for you to experience the presence of God, sometimes you got to go put yourself in those kinds of environments. And so there's nothing more important than starting your week off right. That's why we have church on Sunday morning. It sets the tone for the rest of our week. And we want to say, hey, God, I'm here at church every Sunday morning ready for whatever you have for me. Watch this. It says that they were worshipers. So again, this is not about just going to church, but actually this is God having my heart my emotions, my affection, you know, that kind of a thing. And so worship allows me to really tune in to the presence of God. I'm positioned for blessing now, right? Watch this. Fasting is mentioned here. What is the nature of fasting? It's to cut out the things of this world, to remove the noises and the distractions of this world, and to completely give my attention over to the Lord. What am I? I'm positioned for blessing. It talks about Simon being righteous and devout. I want you to know that the the life that you live, the morality that you choose, the wisdom, the ways of God that you live in, that positions you for blessing. Both of them were patient. Both of them had been waiting a really, really long time for this. I really believe this. Some people miss their blessing in life because they just jump ahead and do it themselves. They they short-circuit God's plan, which is a slower plan, usually involves sowing and reaping, and they go for the microwave version, right? Think in the Old Testament about Abraham. Abraham was told, hey, you're going to have a kid, but he couldn't wait long enough, so he jumped ship, went and took care of it himself, right? So just be careful, be patient, be waiting. But the last thing it says is that the Holy Spirit was upon them. There is something so unique about saying, hey, I want to make sure that every day I wake up, my heart is open and it says, Holy Spirit, whatever you have for me. Holy Spirit, I want to hear your voice. Holy Spirit, I want you to guide me through this day. And when you live like that, you are positioned for blessing. And so if you want to experience more of God in your life, sometimes you are are the one that's going to have to say, oh no, I got to get in church. I need to get into a place of worship. I need to walk in the ways of God. I need to be in tune with the Holy Spirit. Well, now when God says go, I'm ready to go. And when God speaks, I'm ready to listen. And when God wants to do anything in me and through me, I'm ready. I've been positioned for blessing. Church, I love you so much. God bless you. Whatever you got going on today, make sure that you are making out and carving out time. Say, God, I'm ready to hear your voice. What do you have for me today? Church, I love you so much. God bless you, and I will see you tomorrow.